To get a grade in Lab 5 simulation, we're going to need two windows open. The first is a browser pointed here to the edX Lab 5 simulation grader. And the second, we're going to need Kyle. Here I have my solution to Kyle, and you're going to have to do yours. We'll make sure we're in simulation mode. That's options, debug, and we see the simulator is selected. Next, we're going to compile it, which is to build, and then we're going to debug it. And so while you're running the debug mode in Lab 5, you'll see three windows. The first is this uh, grading window, or I.O. window, which you could see by clicking peripherals, port F. The second will be the UART window. This is where it will interact. And that, if you don't see it, you can make it happen by looking at the uh, UART 1, or clicking this button would make that visible. And the third will be the command window, and this is the interaction. Uh, make sure you debug your program first uh, before you hit the grade button. But when you're ready to grade, uh, all we need to do is to go back to edX, and get this number right here, copy, this four-digit number, uh, go to Kyle, and paste it right here, paste, and then we hit the grade button. Uh, you can see down in the UART window that the grader is giving your program some inputs, checking the outputs, give it some more inputs, checking the outputs, and when it's done, you'll get a grade. Uh, this eight-digit code embodies your name, your score, and this is Lab 5 simulation. So control, I uh, clicked it, copy. I'm going to go back to edX, and I'm going to paste it right in here, paste, and then I'm going to click the check button. Uh, I got full credit, 45 points. Now you try it.